This is two carbon atom acid is ethanoic. It is the same thing and hence the name goes as ethanoic anhydride. This one is ethanoic anhydride. This is as such ethanoic acid. I am going to use this compound ethanoic anhydride in many reaction, ethanoic acid. If I want to give the common name acetic acid, I use the word here as acetic anhydride. I hope it is clear. Any dehydrating agent will always remove the H2O molecule. I will take the next one. I am writing here another derivative of acid. I am taking this compound. Once again try to find out what will the name of compound. This is acid amide. So, alkanamide, two carbon atom, first, second. So, this one the name goes here as ethanamide. I am taking the dehydrating agent. Dehydrating agent, just go for dehydration, remove H2O molecule. So, take this oxygen and this H2. What is left? CH3, CN. So, this is CH3, CN. Cyanides. Cyanides are nothing but nitriles and hence the name goes here, two carbon atom, one, two. So, the name is ethane nitrile. There is one more common name for this that is generally used. This is also called as acetonitrile. Ethanamide, I have committed a mistake here. This is ethanamide, I am sorry children, this is ethanamide. The common name for this one as I am writing this part as acetonitrile. This one goes as acetamide, like this is acetic acid, like that estamide. The next reaction you have studied in class 10th in the carbon and its compound, one of the important reaction. I am telling something related with fruity smell. Do you get what do I mean? A compound which is used in our perfumes and the ice creams, the flavors, the vanilla flavors, the strawberry flavors. Children, I am talking about esters, preparation of esters. I am writing one more, I am writing one more reaction of the dehydration that about the fruity smell that in the 10th standard what you have studied that is esterification reaction. When a carboxylic acid reacts, when a carboxylic acid, I am taking the example, once again acid present in vinegar that is acetic acid, any name I can write. I can either go for an IUPAC name or I can either take a common name as I have told you before. When a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol. Let me take an alcohol as ethanol. Instead of writing CH3CH2OH, let me just write it in opposite way. I am writing it like this now, CH3CH2OH. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to always write it CH3CH2OH. If you write it this way, I am very sure children you will not commit mistake. It is easy for you to find out the product. I am treating this one, I am heating the reaction with concentrated sulfuric acid. So, here I am writing this part as ethyl alcohol. Now, what is happening? This is for dehydration, remove water. Now, when I remove water, I can either take this OH or this H or I can either take this OH and this H. This is going, I am going to land up with an ester only. But with the help of radioactivity experiments, this has been found out that the OH part is removed from a carboxylic acid and then hydrogen is removed from an alcohol. So, I am taking this OH and this hydrogen. Whatever is left children, just combine it and thus you see what do you get, try now. This is CH3 there, C, double bond O, up till this I have written. Nothing is there, straight away combine this carbon atom straight away to the oxygen here. Oxygen, then CH2, CH3. And thus you can make out that this is an ester, this is the ester part I have taken, C double bond O. This is an ester which is having the fruity smell. How do I give the name of the compound? I have told you the word alkyl alkanoate. What part is alkyl? What part is alkanoate? Identify the acid, acetic acid. So, acetic acid, acid part becomes alkanoate. So, acetic acid, acetate. And thus, this is my acid part. So, the name ends with acetate here. It is alkyl alkanoate. Alkyl part is coming from what? The alkyl part is coming from the alcohol. What is the alkyl part here? Ethyl. And thus the word goes here as ethyl acetate. IUPC name, if I go for the word ethanoic acid, ethanoic becomes ethanoate. 
and hence it goes as ethyl ethanoid. This has got a fruity smell or it is a sweet smelling compound. During the preparation of ester, one should be very careful. The moment ester is formed, here one of the byproduct is water. The moment ester is formed, it should be immediately removed from the experiment, from the product. Why? Or I can say it should be is immediately distilled off. Otherwise, what will happen? This water, which is one of the byproduct, will add with ester, and once again the reaction goes back. Now, from the reaction, it is clear that during the preparation of esters, the byproduct is water. In this reaction, one should be very, very careful. The moment esters are formed, it should be immediately distilled off. Otherwise, what will happen? That byproduct H2, what I have written is just beneath the arrow mark. The byproduct, is, uh, the byproduct water is going to hydrolyze the ester, and the reaction is going to move backward. This is how the hydrolysis takes place. Now, just look here. The water part, H part here, and the OH part here. And thus, you see that this bond is going to break. And this part, CS3, CH2OH. CS3, CH2OH is going to come back. Similarly, CS3, C double bond to OH. This part is going to come back. I hope it is clear. I want everyone to open page number 335. In page number 335, one of the question 11.7, one of the reaction is involving dehydration. Try to complete that reaction. Now, in this, one more type of question can even come. Like in this case, I'm giving you the two reactant, alcohol and the carboxylic acid, and you're able to find out the ester. Similarly, if an ester is given, you should be able to identify the carboxylic acid as well as the alcohol. Both the way you should be able to do it. For example, if I say, Prepare phenyl propanoate. This question can be identify the carboxylic acid. Identify the carboxylic acid and the alcohol for the preparation of phenyl propanoate. Then, how do I find out what is carboxylic acid and what is alcohol? What you do is First, identify the structure. How to write down the structure of the nester? This is phenyl propanoid. How do I start writing it? In phenyl propanoid, identify what is the acid. The acid is oid part. Alkanoic is becoming alkanoid. So, propanoic would have become propanoid. So, first draw the structure of the acid, propanoic acid. If I put a hydrogen here, it becomes propanoic acid. If I remove the hydrogen, that hydrogen, if it is replaced with the phenyl group, then I'm going to get the structure phenyl propanoid. Once you draw the sp uh, structure splitting way, then you will be able to easily find out what is the carboxylic, what is the alcohol. Just apply the same concept. Wherever that ester part is there, add water like this. H the side and OH the side. And then you will be easily able to find out what is the carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid is CH3, CH2, C, double bond O. This is, I'm sorry, whichever side you have got oxygen, that side, it was correct only. This is hydrogen, this is OH. So, C double bond O as such. Now, here this OH is getting attached. So, this is the structure of uh, the carboxylic acid. So, this one is propanoic acid and the alcohol. Alcohol part is the ring and the OH part. Ring and OH. Will you be able to name the compound? This one is phenol. You will come across some conversions also in the textbook. I want everyone to try that. So, and thus, in this case also, if a product is given, you should be identify what is the reactant. I have completed the four different types of organic reaction, addition, elimination, osmolysis, dehydration. Most of the reaction I am covering and up. I am going to the fifth type of reaction, oxidation reaction. I am just giving some of the example of oxidizing agent. Example of oxidizing agent I am writing. Acidified potassium dichromate. We will be studying this in the 
D block element, its preparation. You have got alkaline KMnO4. This also will be studying in the D block element. You have got chromic oxide. This is chromic acid. You have got chromic oxide, some other examples also. But these are some of the common oxidizing agents. I'll just give you a chart. If you remember this, this will be very easy for you. I'm writing here one degree alcohol. I hope everyone remembers what is one degree alcohol. It's a primary alcohol. Primary alcohol, I'm just showing like this. I'm writing any primary alcohol on oxidation, any one of the oxidizing agent if I use, this is going to turn out to be an aldehyde. And any aldehyde further on oxidation, it is going to turn out to be a carboxylic acid. Similarly, if I take a 2 degree alcohol, any 2 degree alcohol, I hope you remember. If you don't remember, I am just writing here in a short, a 2 degree alcohol like this. This is secondary carbon atom, so a 2 degree alcohol. Any 2 degree alcohol on oxidation will always give rise to a ketone. Wherever the OH part is hanging, children, they are only just put the keto part, ketone. Ketone on further oxidation, I am just putting the oxidation, O in a square bracket. Just to remember that, these are oxidation. In the examination, if you just leave like this, this will not go because you must write down the oxidizing agent. A ketone on oxidation is, is also going to give rise to an acid, carboxylic acid. There is a difference between this acid formation as well as this acid formation. In the first case, this acid will have the same number of carbon atom. Whereas, in this case, it will be less number of carbon atom. What about 3 degree alcohol? I am writing 3 degree alcohol. Any 3 degree alcohol on oxidation actually eliminates a water molecule and this is going to give an alkene. It can neither give an aldehyde nor a ketone. Let me just take one example. I am just taking this part. I am writing here an alcoholic group, butanoanol. I am here, 1 degree alcohol. I am taking an oxidizing agent. Let me take CRO3, oxidizing agent. This part turns out to be an aldehyde. So, three, so 4 carbon atom, 4 carbon atom aldehyde, CH3, CH2, CH2, CHO. Aldehyde, 4 carbon atom, aldehydes I told you the name as alkanal, 4 carbon atom butane and hence the word goes as butanal. This on further oxidation, the reaction is not going to stop here, further it will undergo oxidation. With the same oxidizing agent, I am going to get a carboxylic acid, same number of carbon atom. So, 4 here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you can draw the structure of carboxylic acid first and then 1 carbon atom, second, third, fourth, CH3, CH2, CH2 and thus you get a butanoic acid. If this is asked in the examination, do not stop the reaction here. You have to write down till the reaction completed. In case you want to stop the reaction here, then you have to go for mild oxidizing agent like PCC. This is there in the textbook, PCC. In that case, the oxidation is only till aldehyde. The further oxidation is not taking place. These are all some strong oxidizing agent. I am coming to 2 degree alcohol. I am taking the example. Let me take a smaller one. I am taking the example as propan 2 all. Propan 2 all on oxidation gives, let me take the same oxidizing agent. Wherever the OH part is there, just fit the keto part there. So, this is CH3, C double bond O, CH3. This is propan 2 all. This is propanone. I can even write down acetone. Here I am showing an arrow mark, but I am telling children if this is asked in the examination, do not proceed further. Stop the reaction in ketone. If I want to find out what is an acid, from propanone a separate question will be given. This part one should be very, very careful. I have just drawn this chart, just a tip to remember. If in case of primary alcohol, if I start, I must end up till the acid. But if I start with 2 degree alcohol, I have written the reaction, although I have written the reaction this way, do not go beyond ketone, stop here. If I have to find out what is the acid, a separately ketone has to be given, that part I will deal later on. Now, let me just come to 3 degree alcohol. If I take a 3 degree alcohol, 
I have taken a 3 degree alcohol. I hope you will be able to make out the name of this compound. I am just writing the name of the compound here. This one is 2 methyl propan, prop 2 all will also do. An organic compound can have more than one IUPAC name, but all of them should represent one compound only. This is undergoing oxidation. Here an elimination, this OH part and any one of the beta hydrogen. If this H I remove, a double bond here. If I remove this hydrogen, double bond here. If I remove this hydrogen, a double bond here. Just let me just take this much part. There is no change here, so let me write down this part wherever there is no change. Initially it was CH3, one of the hydrogen has been removed, so this comes out to be CH2. Put a double bond here. You can just see here, one of, I'm just writing here the common name, IPC will be able to write down. This is called as isobutylene. This is isobutylene. So, whatever is this chart I've given, this chart I've taken one one example. I've just left one of the part. Which part? Ketone to acid. This I'm going to take now. From the chart, I just left only one part, ketone to acid. That part I'm dealing it separately now. I'm writing it in the center. I am taking a 5 carbon atom ketone. I have written here a ketone. Now, see whether are you able to give the name of this compound. The name of this compound is pentantone. I have written that a compound called pentan 2 ohm that ketone to acid part I want to show you. I, told, I have written that ketone to acid, the product what is formed here, the acid which is going to form here will be lesser the number than the ketonic part. Now, this is undergoing uh, oxidation in presence of an oxidizing agent. Now, what it is going to give? It is going to give an acid. It is, it is not going to give a pentanoic acid because that is beneath the acid. In the chart, I have written less number of carbon atom as well as it is also going to give me a mixture of acid. Now, if this bond undergoes cleavage, now just say how many carbon atom this side, this one I am putting a marker here. Now, the ketonic part is this one, this bond is also undergoing cleavage, this bond is undergoing cleavage. Let us just try first with this bond. So, when this bond is undergoing cleavage, I have got this side 2 carbon atom, I have got this side 3 carbon atom. So, one of the acid contains 2 carbon atom, another acid contains 3 carbon atom. So, this one is 3 carbon atom acid, the 2 carbon atom acid is this. I hope now you will be able to make out the name. This is ethanoic acid, try to understand this part properly. There is one more word problem in the textbook which is dealing this part, ethanoic acid, this one is 